Hi everybody, it's me. I know it's been a really long time since I've done a video, so today I decided to do one about traumas and how we can go about releasing those those traumas from our past. Um, the thing about the fickle thing about traumas is that they tend to hold us back from our most truest selves, our most truest authentic form in this moment because we tend to carry a lot of baggage that we really essentially don't need. Um, growing up, we all, come, we all come from different walks of life and we all get faced with certain things that can sometimes hold us back. And those things can be I mean, I don't want to go off and trigger people and make examples. So I am just going to go off of my own examples so that I don't affect other people. So growing up for me was a little tough. I was raised in a lot of foster homes. Um, my mom left as per in one of my previous videos on forgiveness. You got a little bit of hindsight on that. Um... So I was raised by my grandmother for a while and then put into foster care and spent the remainder of my teen years in foster care being a ward of the courts. So I was in the system and I got to see things firsthand being a part of the system. And let me tell you that everything that you've heard about children being in the system. It's true. It's all true. It's its a really unfortunate um, time for, for children uh, when their parents aren't there for them to be around. And that, that can cause a lot of heartache in itself. It can cause abandonment issues. It can cause insecurities. It can cause major anger, anger issues, anxiety. There's so many things. The list goes on. So with that being said, how do we go about going and facing those things like anxiety and insecurity and doubt and abandonment and all of those things? How do we go about healing those parts of us? Because I mean, those those parts of us, they 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 can hold us back because we can sit there and windle in those thoughts of our past and get into pity mode, and it, it can prevent us from moving forward. And then once we start to see our worth, which is a hard one, that will be talked about in another topic. I have I have skimmed over that topic a couple of times in previous videos, and I will move forward into a deeper understanding of it in another video. Not sure when that'll be up, but uh, today let's just discuss traumas and healing. Um anxiety. I know so many people with anxiety, high anxiety. They fidget, they stutter, they're quiet, they isolate themselves. They're major introverts because we're, and I'm saying we're because I do suffer from anxiety myself. We're terrified of the world around us because we, the way we grew up, we've known nothing but chaos. We have known nothing but the bad. I'm here to tell you that the bad is actually the good. And I know it's hard to wrap your head around that. It's extremely difficult to wrap your head around that when you don't have an understanding as to the tools that you bring with you. All of those tools, you know, um, in one of my previous videos, I talk about protecting your garden and knowing your worth. Well, those tools are the tools you accumulated through the years and years and years of prepping your garden, the years and years and years of maintaining your garden and kicking people out, bringing people in, going through your ups, going through your downs. Those are your tools because those are your lessons. And we bring those lessons forward into this moment, the here and now. And that, the here and now, that is important. That is so important, especially with people with high anxiety. You need to understand that living in the moment is the most important portion of releasing this anxiety energy that you carry within you. Um, it's hard. It's not easy. We have roller coaster emotions. Um, 
that's what we're here for is to have the human experience and, and understand and feel and absorb and embrace those emotions, no matter what those emotions are. So when you're struggling with anxiety, for example, it's like doom and gloom all around you. You're always looking for the worst case scenario. Something bad is always coming, no matter what. Things go great in your life and you automatically assume that something shitty is about to happen. And you're always looking for that shitty thing before it comes. And The funny thing about that is we're planting that seed. The moment we start thinking about that shitty thing happening. And by planting that seed, I mean you think and you think and you think and you stew and you ponder it and you ponder it. And all of a sudden, boom, it becomes your reality. It becomes your reality because you labeled it. You you gave it the energy to come in. You gave it the permission to come in. You're willing it to come in. Um... Anxiety is scary. It's really scary. Um, I've had my share of anxiety attacks and it's not fun. I mean, you feel like you're dying. You feel like it's the end of the world. You feel like there is nobody in this world around you that could ever, ever understand the pain that you're in or the shock that your body is going through. And it's, it's like a never ending cycle. You wake up, you wake up every morning and you hope today is going to be a good day. And I mean, that's all we can hope for the hope for with all of us is, you know, waking up in the morning and hoping that today is going to be a good day. Well, it's even more stressful for those of us that suffer with things like anxiety, because when we wake up in the morning, we're dreading it. We're, we're dreading what is to come because in the back of our mind, like I said, something always fails. Something always goes wrong. I'm here to tell you that in thinking and being and feeling and acting that way, I know you can't turn it off. I know you can't turn it off. But what you can do is you can use tools to mask it. I'm not saying mask it as in hide it and forget about it. And then all of a sudden, boom, it comes back up. No, I'm saying that you can do things to kind of move it forward so that you can help release that anxiety feeling. And by doing so, I I am asking all of you who are affected by traumas, who are affected by negative things that play out in your life constantly due to anxiety or whatever. This doesn't just go with people having anxiety. This this goes with people having, you know, many other, you know, mental illness or whatever the case is just because of the way that you were raised and the things that you went through in your life. I challenge you to a 21-day challenge. It's it's a 21-day gratitude challenge. So, how this works is every morning when you wake up, I want you to think of three things that you are grateful for before you even have your feet touch the floor from your bed. Three things that you're grateful for. And every morning when you wake up, those three things need to be different every single day for the next 21 days. And I can promise you that 21 days from now to today, you're going to have a completely different perspective. Your mind is going to shift And you're going to see things from a different view. I'm not saying that it's going to get rid of your anxiety. I'm not saying that it's going to get rid of your depression. I'm not saying that it's going to get rid of any of that trauma. But what I am going to say is that that is going to be a tool that you can use to help to kick those things so that you can move forward because those things block you. Believe it or not, traumas are blocks. They block us from living our most authentic life. Okay, your purpose here today, you're living it. You're living it. You just don't realize it. You don't see it because you're so, oh my God, you know, what am I going to do? Oh my God, it's the end of the world. The life is, you know, falling apart. The sky is falling. 21 day challenge. Three things you're grateful for. 21 days. Do it. Trust me. I do it. And you know what? I can go and be in the most shitty atmosphere. I can be around the most toxic individuals. And I know at the end of the day that I'm still grateful. And I know that at the end of the day, I'm not that person. And I know at the end of the day, 
I am growing. I am developing everything that I need in order to live this life to its fullest because that is why I'm here. I am here for myself. I am here for my son. I am here for my husband. I am here for everybody around me. But I'm here for me the most because at the end of the day, I'm taking this borrowed meat suit to my grave and the memories that I have in my mind. So do I want those memories to be of frantic things that I think about daily that I am nervous about, that I'm afraid the world is going to fall apart around me and that everybody and their dog is out to get me? Or am I going to lay on my deathbed getting ready to die and say, you know what? I am so glad we went on that vacation. I was so terrified of that plane, but I am so glad I went on that vacation. I am so glad that I took that meeting for that job interview because I was not sure that I was going to be good enough for that job. But I'm so glad I bit the bullet. I kicked my anxiety for five minutes of my day to see if I could do it. And guess what? I did. It's really, it's, we, we look at our situations around us as difficult and overwhelming and tough to handle. And sometimes we get so stressed out that we doubt ourselves to the point where we don't do it. And then we let the opportunity pass. Why? Because of that doubt, because of the insecurities, because of the things that we hold on to from our past. I got news for you. Your past is your past. You're no longer there. This is a hard pill to swallow for a lot of people and this can be a trigger for a lot of people just hearing me say this. It's in your past. You are no longer living it. It's in your past for a reason. What did you learn from that situation? What kind of tools can you take from that situation and bring it into your present moment to help you live a more fulfilling life? Ask yourself those questions. Is it really that hard? Or are you, are you the one that is making it that way? I am going to go now. It's been a long time since I have shared one of my videos with you guys. So today I figured was a good day to share. Um, I'm a little rusty at this because it's been so long. So I guess I'm going to have to start getting on this bandwagon and start doing this like once a week so that I can keep myself in the loop of things. So let me know what you think in the comments box below, um, as well as if there is anything that you want to talk about and discuss on this page, please uh, feel free to inbox message me privately or make a comment below about what you would like to see a topic based on that we can discuss. Um, I also want to take a different, different approach at some things. I would love to get your perspective on the situations that we do discuss the topics we do discuss. So um, I would like to be able to pair up with other people and collaborate and do some video footage with more than just myself, but other people as well. So if that's something that you might be interested in and we want to have a debate about uh, a topic, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below or like I said, private message me and we can get the ball rolling for that. Um, I want you guys to have a fabulous day today and please, 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 if you do feel that you can do this, which I know you can, take the 21 day gratitude challenge, please do it for you because at the end of the day, that's who this is for. It's for you. Okay. I do these videos and they help me along with my path and when I do these videos, I really hope that it can reach out to at least one person and help them on their path too. So let me know how, how this video went, if there's anything that maybe I can uh, tweak a little bit. I know I like to wander off a little bit and stray away and, oh, look, it's a bird. Oh, look, it's a squirrel. Not really, but ADHD. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> But anyways, uh, I am out. I am off to go and do my thing today. My three things I am grateful for today. I am grateful to have a voice to speak to you guys in hopes that I can help at least one person. That makes me grateful. I am grateful that I woke up this morning. I'm grateful that I woke up and I took a breath and I was still alive, still breathing. 
I rolled over and I saw my son. He was laying in bed with me. Man, that makes me grateful. You know what else makes me grateful? Living. Living this life. Having these experiences, going through the daily chaotic BS that I have to go through, I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for the bullshit in my life because with all of that bullshit, it's made me wiser. So I'm out. It was nice chatting and I'm really glad that you guys are here listening and thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon. Bye everybody. Love you.